As the virus continues to spread, hospitals are filling up. Now hundreds of doctors are getting emergency licenses so that they can help out in North Carolina. Our Genevieve Curtis is live now. Genevieve, this includes some doctors who were retired. Yeah, Erica, as we know, our hospitals are really bracing for the peak in all of this. And now the medical board has started to issue emergency licenses to doctors who want to help here in North Carolina. Just a few weeks ago, the medical board created a new license for recently retired doctors and PAs who want to come back and help. About 500 recent retirees have been notified that they're eligible. Now I've learned that a handful have already gotten that license. The board also has an emergency license for out of state doctors who want to help here in North Carolina. I'm told that close to 300 out of state doctors have already received that license tonight. The board is also allowing medical students to start their residencies without taking the license exam because no one was offering that in person testing and the board has waived some of the license requirements for qualified doctors. For example, the state requires that doctors be fingerprinted before they get a license, but no one is doing fingerprinting right now. So the board has also waived that. Even what seem like small changes to reducing those barriers, it can be the difference between hundreds or even thousands of medical professionals available to help in North Carolina or not being available. And Erica, what this really boils down to is just getting enough help. I'm told that the medical board expects that a lot of the out of state doctors will help with virtual appointments that will conserve resources to help with COVID-19. The board is also meeting again on Thursday to discuss even more ways to get more doctors here. Erica. Yes, as, as we've seen in places like New York, this is definitely an all hands on deck situation. Genevieve, thank you.